Hey PHJ family, I'm KTR reporter Melinda Garza. Thanks for joining us on this episode of The Quick Chat. Our special guest today is Imelda Palacios, director for the PSJ Child Nutrition Program. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Of course, it's good to have you here. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about our free summer meals program, which helps feed thousands of our students at more than 60 school and community sites throughout the summer. So Ms. Palacios, can you start off by talking to us about what the, what the program is? The summer meal program offers uh, free meals to children out in the community and uh, we offer free breakfast free lunch and supper at some sites okay so who can eat these meals is there like a certain age group that you have to be to to have the meals yes the program does require that they be at least 18 years and younger but we do not ask for an ID we uh, they don't have to be enrolled at PSJ or from our area as long as they visit our sites they're welcome to join in the meal program Okay, so do they need to be participating in any, you know, summer activities or, or any programs or anything like that to, to be eligible to get them? No, um, we do offer the meals at summer camps, religious organizations, different things like that, but wherever kids gather, congregate, we're there, we can feed them and that's all that's required. Okay, and so you do breakfast, lunch, and supper, correct? And is that at all sites or just some of them? Uh, just at some. Okay. We, uh, we cannot do lunch and supper at the same site, but uh, some sites prefer supper, some sites prefer just a lunch and a breakfast. Okay, and so these, these summer meals that are at the sites, that's not all we're doing, right? We're also doing a program called Meals on the Go. Can you talk a little bit about what that is? Oh yes, that's really exciting, Meals on the Go, and this is something that Dr. King um, was pushing for. We uh, have two school buses so that the community is familiar with, you know, with the, the bus. It says PSGISD. They feel comfortable. We go out to the different community sites where we feel that, that kids uh, are in need of these free meals. And the kids are able to get on the bus. It's air conditioned and they get to eat a hot meal. And you can see in, in their faces that they really enjoy it. Yeah, I was going to ask, so what are, what are the reactions that you get from not only the students, but the families who, who participate in getting these meals? Well, what I've noticed is that when we go to certain community sites, uh, these are kids that are at home with older siblings, and so I guess the parents are working, so the kids are running. They come running to get on the bus, they have a smile on their face, so they're hungry, and we do offer, like I said, good hot meals for them, so they really enjoy it. Okay, that's good. So is there anything that they need to do? So paperwork or anything like that to be eligible or do they just, I mean, they can show up to the site? Nothing. They just show up and eat. Like I said, we don't, we don't check ID or anything. Okay, and how long have we been, have we done this, this program? The summer meal program? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been here a long, long time <laughs> and it's been like 20 years. I mean, it's been a long time. Well, Can't even remember the, when we first started, but well, it seems like I've always done it. Yeah. <laughs> So, and I can imagine that a lot goes into, into this program. So, I mean, you have the bus drivers and, and the cafeteria workers and all of that. So, I mean, they work there hard. There is a lot of work behind the scenes. We uh, have had um, great experience with wonderful bus drivers that actually get off the bus and they're out there, come on kids, encouraging the kids to come and eat. The staff that we hire also works hard. They come in early, they prepare foods, they get it ready to get on the bus to go deliver to the kids or to the different sites. So there's a lot of paperwork that we have to do on our end, but uh, in the end, it's all worth it. Yeah, so by the end of this, you know, by the end of the summer, because it, it runs through about August, correct? We will continue to run it through August. Okay, so what, what are you hoping to, to have gotten out of this experience or to, to get out through this program for the students? Well, we feel that there's a, a high need for nutritious, healthy meals for kids in the community because although school is out, um, kids are still hungry and they need to eat. And sometimes they don't have access to healthy food at home. So if we can do it and provide it for them, then they will continue to um, eat these healthy meals and be ready to learn when school commences in August or September. Okay, is there anything else that you want to add? Maybe something I didn't get to? I just want to thank my staff, thank the bus drivers, transportation department for helping us with this. And uh, they all work really hard, like I said, and it's fast paced. Uh, we can't afford to be out. Uh, it's fast paced Monday through Friday. Uh, sometimes they're working at 6, 6.30, 7 in the evening. So it can be a long day for some, but, but people who are working this summer program, they enjoy it and they know it's for a great cost. That's good, that's good. And so 
There are numerous, I mean, dozens of sites, right? More than 60. So all of those, we can find them in our website, right? So that's going to have all the locations, the times, the schedules, everything like that, right? If some are missing because daily, I am still getting requests wow. daily, um, you can just contact my office, 956-784-8545, okay. or call 211, and they'll give you the location closest to you. Okay, sounds good. So thank you for all this information, Ms. Palacios. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So just to recap, students can receive free meals through our summer meals program throughout the summer. The summer meals are available at more than 60 sites and will run through August as will the meals on the go. You can visit our website psgisd.us slash kids meals for the locations and times the meals are available or you can call 211. So thanks again, Ms. Palacios, for joining us. Thank and you for having me. Of course. And to you, PSJ family, for tuning in. Until next time.